Hello everybody, Fiber Spider back again with a new game just for you. And I found a new one that I thought you might like called Portal Knights. Alright, so this game is rated E for everybody for fantasy violence. Um, now, let's see. Become the ultimate Portal Knight. Travel across randomly generated 3D worlds in this sandbox action RPG adventure. Level up your character so you can defeat the Portal Guardians and restore peace to the realms. All right, so we've got three different character classes. Classes, excuse me: uh, warrior, mage, and ranger. They're random events, tactical action combat. You can play together, but I prefer playing alone. Uh, but I like to play for you guys, so we're even. All right, so we're going to create a new character. All right, we are human, and I would like to be male. Thank you. So, while humans emerged as the foremost species of humanoid on Elysia, they are not the only race to have thrived on the planet. Other nationalities have come and gone, and some perhaps still lurk in hidden corners of the world, separated from us by the fracture. Okay, so yes, I'm a male. Good. Ah, okay. So, uh, let's see, we've got warrior. Uh, let me see here. That would be warrior, the first one. Then... This would be Ranger, and then this would be Mage. You know what? I think we're going to go with Ranger, because I love a good bow and arrow. Now, this one is downloadable content for a price. For now, I think we're just going to stick with the in-game features. All right, so let's, let's be a Ranger. Yes, the Ranger uses a bow to defeat enemies from afar. They can also lob bombs to destroy blocks and foes alike. Primary attributes. So agility and dexterity. So increases movement speed and increases range damage. Sounds good. Now, for argument's sake, let's let's see what. Yes. Okay. Now let, let's see what the mage would be like, just for argument's sake. All right, the mage uses magic wands and staves to defeat their enemies and has access to a variety of powerful spells. So wisdom and intelligence increases mana points and increases spell damage. You know what? I think let's go with the ranger because I'm really not a, a warrior type. So I, I think we'll go with this for now. Ah, okay, hair. We have all sorts of hairstyles, my goodness. You know what, let, let's go with, ooh, how about a, sort of a reddish color? Ooh, beard, I like the beard. That is a really adorable mustache, I love it. Um, hmm, I could go for something that looks somewhat like myself, like this. Tricky, tricky, tricky. I, I don't know, I'm kind of partial to that little mustache. I think it's adorable. All right, hair, huh? <laughs> oh, Bob Ross. Okay, self soft serve ice cream head. Um, that's not bad. This is, this is tricky. This is actually tricky. I'm not, I'm not gonna spend forever on this. Oh, Princess Leia. <laughs> oh, this is not easy. Decisions, decisions. You know what, I'll, how about this? We'll, we'll go with Bob Ross. Yes. However, the hair color is not quite there. That's that I I'd say that's that's pretty close to Bob Ross. Maybe a longer, fuller beard if there is one. I don't know if his beard is that full. It's it's pretty full, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be Bob Ross. My, my homage to Bob. 
Oh, now we have other facial features. Ears. Well, you really can't... You really can't see my ears. So, let's not worry about that. Skin features. Eye shapes. Well, he looks angry. And Bob... Bob isn't angry. That... That's more like Bob. Aww. Now, I think he's got... Blue eyes. I could totally be mistaken. But I want to say that Bob has blue eyes. Yeah, make his mouth wiggledy. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, vampiric. Yeah, he'll be happy. Voice. He's got a voice. Ah. There you go. Okay. Uh let's let's change that. Bob. Nope. No, Ranger Bob. There we go. Or Ranger Ross? Ranger... Ranger Ross. I love Bob Ross. Ranger Ross, there we go! <laughs> nope, we, we got this. Oh, there we go. Ranger Ross, Human Ranger, level 1. Okay! This is so cool. Universe one, uh, sure. Maximum island size. I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's let's just play and see what happens, shall we? Okay. Uh, yeah. Let, let's let's play. Oh, this is exciting! In the forgotten days, the world was peaceful and whole. But the fracture arrived and tore the realm apart. Now the only connection between disparate lands are the ancient portals. And they are guarded by covetous fiends who thrive in the darkness. Don't they always? The world awaits heroes who will restore light to the portals and reunite the peaceful realm. Sounds good. There are legends of a ghost world found through a mysterious portable, but honestly, who believes in ghosts Squires Knoll Elysia level 1 Okay Basics Move around using the L stick Okay I that was easy enough Okay look around using the right stick Oh this is adorable X to jump Okay so open the backpack with triangle and move minor healing potions stacked to your action bar. Okay. So move to the, I guess that's the action bar. Okay. Minor heal, healing potion consumable restores 130 health. Sounds good. Okay. So, use the R3 to switch between first person and third... Ooh, that's cool. I love first person. Okay. I really do appreciate that this has a tutorial as well. So, attack an enemy with your weapon by using R2. You got this. I guess those blobs are construed as enemies. Let's go get those blobbies. I like this! 
This is really cool. Oh! It! Ah! 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 Okay. You know what? Um. Let's see. Uh, settings. Gameplay. Ah, here we go. So, force third person combat. Let's take that off because I'd like to be first person. Okay, and back. Back. Okay, because I, I like being in first person. Ooh, gross. Ew, ew, ew. Squishy. My goodness. Okay. More squishies. Ah! Squishy. This is really cute. I can really dig this. Because it, it's it's sort of like a really cute, happy-go-lucky version of Skyrim. If you will. You know, this is sort of like a, a family-friendly version of Skyrim. This is adorable! Ooh, can I pick something? Oh, uh, let's see. Press L2 to lock a nearby enemy while an enemy is locked. Press X and a direct and a direction to evade. Oh, well, I don't have another enemy. Can I pick this? Hmm. Let's see, I need another enemy. Oh, this little dragon guy. Oh, mushroom. Hello, mushroom. Ooh, that's pretty neat. Oh, blobby. Okay, and X. Oh, that's pretty cool. Ah! This is really neat! Neat and adorable. I like this! Okay, so... But I already did that whole evade thing. I guess we'll try it again. Okay, X and a direction to evade. Yes, I'm doing that. Ah. Ah. Okay, how many times do I have to do this whole evade thing? I keep thinking that my bow is an enemy. There we go. Ooh. Ah, did it. Okay. Ah. Ah. Ooh, I got an egg. Okay. So, what's next? And I... I could use some health. My health is running low. Alright, uh... Ah, dirt block... Minor healing potion. Oh, but my health does regenerate itself. That's cool. I wonder, can I use the red berries for something? Can I eat them? Cotton seed. Consumable. Ah, okay. Alright, but how do I eat them? Ah, uh, maybe... Okay, I got an idea. Um, let's move... the berries to here. Okay. And up! There we go. And... Oh, I can't eat another one just yet. I see. Okay. Ooh. Oh, no, not what I meant to do. Ah. Ah. 
There we go. Berries! Uh oh, more blobbies! Ah! Goodness. Oh, blobby! Ooh, hearts. Hearts are good. Gonna get you, blobby. I am digging this. This is absolutely adorable as all get out. Ah, ah. You know what, it kind of reminds me, if you will, sort of like a, a cross between, what was that game, Yonder and Skyrim. I, I think that that's not a bad way of describing this. Berries! You know, I'm just gonna collect stuff like there's no tomorrow. There we go. Oh, what's that sound? Oh, it's up there. I guess that's a portal out of here, perhaps. Cotton seeds. Okay. Oh, that, this is really adorable. I can dig this. Gonna get you, birdie. Gonna get you. Gotcha, birdie. Another egg? And the music is really cute, and the game itself is really cute. I, I can dig this. Okay, so, oh, there's somebody up there, right? Because I see a red dot. Somebody talking to me? Oh, there's a little person down there. Hello. Hello, Elise. Hello. Can we talk? Can I can I talk to you? Oh, talk. Oh, there we go. Want to be a miner, do ya? Uh, I can help you. Sure, why not? First things first. You gotta make yourself a stone pickaxe. For that, you'll need to harvest some wood from trees and some stone. After that, it's easy. Just whack away at anything rock or metal to get yourself a block of stone or ore. Or ore. That's about everything I learned at mining school. Okay, so mine a stone block by holding R2 while targeting it. Okay. Stone block. There we go. Stone block. Can never have too many stone blocks. So. And I've got unlimited ammo, so. Alright, so now ca craft a stone pickaxe. Let's see. Inventory. Aha! So, let's see. L2. Pickaxe! There we go. So, can I officially make this now? Not yet, apparently. Okay, what do I need still? I guess I need some more twigs and some more blocks. Well, how many blocks do I actually have, though? Ah, I've got three blocks. Alright, so I need one more block, and I need a couple of sticks. Okay, we got this. We got this. Okay, I got the block. Very good. Alright, so now I need some sticks. So, let's go after the tree. Poor defenseless tree. There we go. Sticks. And let's do another tree just for good measure. Okay, now I think I can do it. So, inventory. Uh, can I actually make this thing now? Craft. Yes! Awesome! Earned a trophy. Man-made. Oh, that's cool. Quest complete. Very cool. Alright, so now... Um, 
Alright, my pickaxe, let's move you down here. Okay. Sounds like a plan, man. Oh! So this is sort of like a cross between Minecraft and... Uh... Skyrim, all of a sudden. This is very cool. Oh, what's this? Open. Oh! Oh! Like a, a treasure chest. How's that for cool? I wonder, can I go through here? Hmm. This is very much like Minecraft. Baby steps. Oh, that's so cute. Little trophy for that. Okay, now, um, is she content with what I did? Or does she want me to do some more stuff? Hello? Hello? I'd help you mine, but I'm on strike. Mining is too dangerous these days. What with everything that's been going on. What do you want to do? Come along, leave, or talk? I can have her follow me? That's pretty cool, you can come along. Okay, she just... Vaporized. Hmm. Okay, that was peculiar. Oh, what does this say? My mining career was on the rocks until I learned to use a pickaxe. Elsie the miner. That's cute. Alright, I see another dot up there. Let's go see what's up there. But first, let's do just a little bit of mining. Don't see any reason why not. You never know when you might need some extra blocks. This is so like Minecraft, but this is so much more adorable in my opinion. Also, apparently, these tools don't wear out, which is pretty cool. Okay, so, you know what, let's find another dot, and let's go from there. Also, let's go back to my bow, just in case... Oh, it's getting dark. Oh, oh, I hear squishies! Squishy! Bad squishy. Oh, oh, another squishy! Sheesh! Ooh, I leveled up! And I earned a trophy for leveling up. That's cool. I hear some- oh, it's Robert. Hello, Robert. How you doing? The house darn near fell apart after the last storm. Could you fix her up for me? I'd do it if I weren't for, uh, my bad back. Yeah, sure. Phew, for a minute I thought I was gonna have to do some work. You lazy booger. If you'd place some polished wood blocks onto the house, that'd be a good enough start. Okay, so destroy the crates and collect the loot. Satisfying. Hmm. I'm not sure what he means by that. Okay, so I need polished blocks, huh? How do I make polished blocks? Let's see... Workbench... Torches... Hmm... Workbench... Ah, use this to craft wood, blocks, tools, weapons, and more. Okay. Can I craft this? Cool. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, can I use the workbench? I'm not sure how this works just yet. So, let's see. Talents, attributes... Oh! Oh! 
Okay, that's interesting. Attributes. I'm not sure what I'm doing, quite frankly. I really don't. Oh, I'm all over the place here. Okay, uh... Oh! Okay. Alright, where is my inventory exactly? Oh, here it is. Okay, workbench. There we go. Use this to craft wood blocks, yes. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. Okay, now. Down. Aha! There we go. Whoa. Alright, place it. Can I place it? Well, I can rotate it. Alright, and... Whoa. Okay, how do I place it? There we go. It's been placed. Use. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, nope. There we go. Cotton cloth. Polished block. There we go. Okay, craft it. Cool. I wonder how many he needs. Destroy the crates and keep whatever's in them. You might need it soon. Like, real soon. Okay, what crates is he referring to? Oh, these crates, I guess. Cool, supplies, I think. Lots and lots of supplies. Okay, so, let's see. Place five polished wood blocks to begin rebuilding the old squire farm. Alright, where does he want me to put them? That's kind of the thing. Oh, and these are polished wood blocks. I didn't need to do what I did. Okay. Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's a workbench. Go figure. And what is this? Oh, perhaps I need to fix this. That would make sense. A straw block. Okay, you know what? Let's... I'm not sure how I would do this, but... Alright, inventory. There we go. Polished wood block. I've got a ton of them. Okay, so... Ah, this is neat. Okay, so put it there, yes. Ooh, ooh. This is really cool. Place five polished blocks. Yes, repair the broken workbench. Okay, however, I, I want to do that first. There we go. Now it's got a, a nice window. Alright, so use... Upgrade... I don't have enough sticks. Okay, so let's go back to our pickaxe. And... Let's see. Now, as far as this... Can I pick it up? Or maybe I have to destroy it. There we go. Again, just like Minecraft. Okay, we need sticks. Let's get some sticks. There we go, some sticks. Get some more sticks. And let's get this tree down here too, just for stuff and giggles. Alright, I think I've got enough sticks to repair this workbench. Okay. Upgrade. There we go. Woohoo! Ah, this is so cool! Alright, so before you can make your first suit of armor, you'll need cotton cloth, which is made from pieces of cotton found on cotton bush. I think I found some, actually. 
So, cotton cloth. Let's see. Use... Nope. Wrong buttons. Okay, cotton cloth. There we go. Craft. Yes! Yes again? Okay. Uh... Nope, I keep... I will get the hang of this, I promise. Rogue's hood? But I'm not a rogue. I'm a ranger. Whoa. Scout gloves? I got all sorts of good stuff. Scout tunic? Ah, usage requires ranger, 20 plus health. Oh! That could be very helpful. Let's try crafting that. Cool! Alright, now, uh, back to my inventory. Yes? Okay. Oh, that's Elsie. Oh! She's... Elsie is in my inventory. Okay. So before you can make your first two... Yes, I got that. So dress the part. Equip your new scout tunic. How do I do that? I crafted a scout tunic, but how do I actually wear it, pray tell? Ah, armor. Um... Ah! Okay, torso? Yes! Equip. Yes! There we go! Okay. Step through the portal to continue your adventure, but beware! Make sure you are prepared for the danger to come. Mm. Which I'm assuming means, you know, gathering more resources, leveling up a bit. Alright, do you have anything to say? Topaki. Good luck with the house. They're a lot of work. But they keep the slimes out. Oh, I, I get the house? Well, I'm gonna leave you because you're grumpy. Oh, this is such a cute game! Oh, I'm I'm really digging this. I will definitely say that. I love this, and I can see myself playing this a lot. Hello, Jasmine. Is it Jasmine? Janine, excuse me. I suppose I should get to harvesting all this cotton, but I don't see the point. Of course there's a point! You grew it, you should harvest it. Uh, this is our small cotton farm. I harvest the cotton and use it to produce cotton cloth. You're welcome to help yourself to as much as you need. Oh, thank you. Don't mind if I do. Because, undoubtedly, I'm gonna need some. So, I don't see why not. You know, she's saying I can have it and I, it's not being construed as stealing. Sure! Let's just go crazy. You know, I wouldn't mind making some other accoutrement, you know, to, to wear. There we go! Yep, I did all your harvesting for you. You happy? You good? I call Kibatsur. Okay, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna leave. Okay. So. Let's see. Yeah, there's a person up there as well. Um, and he's right here. This is adorable. See, I mean, I could walk around like this and so forth, but. Oh! I, I like first person open. Check back later for gifts. Ooh, prezzies! I also do appreciate how... It's not always daytime, they also have a nighttime as well. Bye bye, birdie! <laughs> Ooh, target practice? I guess that's what that is for. Let's go down there. Harrod? Oh, Harold.
Okay, he takes, like, no damage. Alright, let, let's get rid of some of these blobbies. And I'll stay at a nice, safe distance, because... These slimes are dangerous. You know, they'll, they'll jump at you. They jump at you. And they blow up. And they give me goodies. <laughs> See? I rest my case. I don't know about you guys, but I am really enjoying this. I think it's absolutely adorable. Ooh, and I leveled up again. Awesome sauce. Okay. So, apparently, I do have some options. You know, I, I can stick around here. I can gather more resources. I can level up some more. Oh, parrot! Gonna get you, parrot. Hee <laughs> Yeah, he's not happy with me. Bye-bye, birdie. Apparently, I don't take any fall damage either, which is kind of cool. Oh, and here's the mine that we were in before. Now, apparently, this island, if you want to call it such, is not very big. That's the edge of the world. And I think that that's what they meant before about island size. But I think that considering that I'm just starting, this isn't bad. What does this say? Even if I knew the world would fall to pieces tomorrow, I'd still plant my emerald trees. Larry the Lumberjack. Where is Larry? Maybe he's around here somewhere. Oh, and I see his squishies. Squish! Squish, squish! Some more parrots, no problem. We got this. Oh, oh, ow. Okay, I don't see Larry the Lumberjack anywhere. Maybe he's on a different island. Ooh, what's this? What, what is this? Cyril, huh? Hello, Cyril. Uh, I wouldn't go down to the tower basement if I were you. Not even for the treasure that's down there. Oops, me and my big mouth. Uh, yeah, I'll help you. Are you nuts? I'm in charge of the tower and I won't even go down there. Alright, so... What's so bad about down here. I love their little voices, they're adorable. Okay, they're, this is really far down. Okay, you know what? I think we will explore the abandoned tower in the next episode. So explore the dungeon and search for the treasure. Well, you know what? We're going to do that in the next episode because we've been playing now for over half an hour and this is so much fun. I'm really enjoying this and I hope you guys are too. So please, you know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe for more good stuffs and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.